I recently had the privilege of speaking to Dr. David Ashley, the esteemed director of the Preston Robert Tisch Brain Tumor Center here at Duke. The research carried out in this world-renowned center plays a crucial role in advancing our knowledge of brain tumors and in developing innovative treatments. So David, Hi. the work that goes on in the Brain Tumor Center is mm. somewhat unique because you mm -hmm. have challenges that we don't have in other areas of research. Mm -hmm. What are they? Well, you know, brain tumors are really a terrible condition uh, they're very aggressive cancers, but you, and often fatal. But not only that, they affect the person's brain, which often means they affect their personality, they affect their family members in a very profound way. So our staff deal with both the cancer and also the family. Right. There's challenges to getting drugs into the brain, right? Right. So there's the blood-brain barrier, there's unique features of the immunology around the brain, the tumour microenvironment, drug delivery, as you mentioned. And, you know, over the past three decades, we really haven't made a lot of progress in the clinical translation up until just the last year or two, and we've had some fantastic breakthroughs, which uh, I think are going to be a big deal in transforming our field. So you have an amazingly passionate team, very talented team that's taking on some of the biggest challenges in mm -hmm. brain tumors. But you have had a major breakthrough mm -hmm. recently. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, you know, dating back about almost two decades now, members of the Brain Tumor Center at Duke, you know, Daryl Bigner, Hayan and others, discovered that there was a mutation in a gene known as IDH1. Th this has profound effects on the metabolic function and the immunology of brain tumors. At the time, that dichotomized brain tumors into sort of low-grade, better-acting brain tumors, still ultimately fatal, and then very high-grade brain tumors such as glioblastoma. This was really important for diagnostics and prognostication. But then subsequent to that, a number of companies have developed small molecule inhibitors to the function of that mutation. And these have transformed uh, the treatment of low-grade tumors just, and just in the last month or two have been FDA approved. So now almost all patients with uh, low-grade brain tumors will probably end up on these drugs. And that grew out of our team at Duke. In fact, Katie Peters, one of our um, lead physicians, was a, a national leader and we enrolled more patients at Duke than any other centre in the United States. And internationally, we, we, we led the effort to get final registration for this drug and prove that it, it's a remarkable benefit to patients. So that's a big breakthrough. Big breakthrough. Are there any breakthroughs coming up? Yeah, in addition to that, in the more higher grade spectrum, you know, we've had some breakthroughs with uh, the work that Matthias Gromeyer and Mike Brown are doing on the poliovirus, modifying the poliovirus. And we think and have replicated in several studies now that we can get long-term survivors in these high grade tumors by infusing this modified virus into the brain and creating an immune response. And I think that's giving us some real insights into how we can approach uh, future therapies. And I'll just say one more thing, you know, the, the IDH inhibitors um, are looking like that they will combine with these immunotherapies for, uh, you know, future advances, and we're working on that. So we're in a moment in time where the technology and the yeah. science have really advanced. Yes. What do you see as going to really provide us the breakthroughs in brain tumor research? Yeah, I, I, I do think the immunotherapy for brain tumors is going to be a big deal. And I think we've been leaders in that for you know three decades here at the Brain Tumor Center. I, I think that um, combinations with small molecules will be the future, but the future looks bright for the Brain Tumor Center. We, we've recruited, you know, with the help of the medical school, 10 to 12 young, bright, junior faculty, all of whom are nationally recognized, all of whom make a wonderful contribution. They have K awards. They're progressing the field. And I think these are the people that will carry the next generation. Well, that's generation. where the new ideas come from, right. is constantly having new people exactly. with a different set of skills come to the labs. Yep. Yep. So your team is so remarkable. Yep. I want to say thank you for all the work that you do. And I'm sure the, the patient's families appreciate it as well. Yeah, we, we'll 
I think that's why it is such a special team is because, you know, everybody brings their own story to the Brain Tumor Centre and they're all incredibly dedicated people who are there for the families and the patients, that's for sure, because I think there's a sense of uh, being part of something bigger. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and we appreciate it. And thank you to everybody for all that you do.